Hello friends, welcome back. I am Patsy and this is Big Girl Talking. Today's video is going to be a new type of video I'm doing. I'm calling these videos BGT Tries and this is me just trying different recipes and stuff that I find that are on a healthier um, level than what I usually eat like poutine. Um, and my friend Vern, who's a subscriber, he has sent me an email. He calls these uh, these uh, recipes he sends me uh, Vern's Vegetable Challenge, and I love it because um, I struggle with eating vegetables. So Vern, challenge accepted. And um, so what I did is that we went up to my kitchen. My husband and I, we cooked this um, recipe up. The filming was interesting. We're trying different cameras and stuff, so it's not going to be the best video. You're, this is just raw. We did what we did. I've clipped it together as best I can. These videos will get better as we go along and I figure out setup and lighting and sound and all that. But for now, I'm just going to put up what we've got. And um, today we made um, baked Hungarian cauliflower and it actually was quite tasty and I enjoyed it. So. Um, here are the clips and um, I hope you enjoy it. If you do, please let me know and um, I'll do more. Vern sent me another recipe, a chili with kale in it, which I just don't like kale, but we'll, we'll see. I, I'm actually thinking of um, doing that one only because I don't like kale and kale is such a, a good healthy food to eat. So I might give it a shot. So anyway, not to uh, put this off any longer. I hope you enjoy. Okay, so while I wait for the um, cauliflower to parboil and the oven to heat up, I'm going to make um, three little dishes of um, a flour mixture, a crunchy mixture, we're using cornflakes, and a moist mixture with an egg. So I'm going to be doing that right now, getting three bowls to do that. Six tablespoons of flour. One. Two. Three, four, five, six tablespoons of flour, and then a quarter tablespoon each of garlic powder, black pepper, and salt. Okay, so we have all the um, containers. Now it's a quarter teaspoon each of garlic powder, so a little quarter teaspoon of garlic powder. And then, like I said, I got the Parmesan herb. I thought it would just taste nice with a bit of Parmesan herb. And then salt, we gotta fill our salt shaker, honey. And pepper, okay. And I'm assuming we mix that all together to make a lovely mixture of herbs and stuff. Okay, so another one is second bowl. We've got the corn flakes. And we have what? This is in a bowl. One and a half ounces. So I do have my scale here. Do we um, gotta crush it? Hmm? Do we gotta crush the corn flakes? Yeah, I'm gonna put the one and a half ounces in though. Oh. Okay, let's do that. Do that. Okay, so set the scale to zero. And then we just do one and a half ounces. Oh, that's gonna be a lot of cornflakes. Two, three, four, five. Okay, so one and a half ounces. And then it says crush one and a half ounces. So how do you think we should do this? Use a spoon. Boom. Okay, crunch. You're so smart. Okay. Um, in, in Vern's uh, recipe, he also said we can use panko bread crumbs too. So um, I'll put this recipe down below in the um, description, guys. I don't know if I can attach a document. If not, I'm gonna to have to just write it out below, but you got, it'll be there for you to do what you want. Okay, 
I think you have to get it really small, right, babe? Okay. Really small. Okay, and this third bowl is one large egg white. Um, Vern normally uses the entire egg, which I'll do too, because I'm too lazy to just use a white. I mean, this is fun. Gets out a bit of your aggression. It almost have to be powder, wouldn't it? Just, do we not have something that will do this for us? I used to stick it in a plastic bag and just. <laughs> when I did my mixtures. Okay. I mean, my, um, my stuff, my cauliflower is already yet, so I might as well just keep doing this and uh, getting it a nice crunch to it. That's a lot of crunchy, um, Yes. Okay. Oh, you're way better at this than me. <laughs> Look at him go. This is why I married him, people. He's brilliant. Okay. Let's go get the egg. See, this is brilliant, and this is why my husband's awesome. So then I do an egg. This is an egg. <laughs> And we just cut this, put this in. I think you would whip it, right, babe? Mm -hmm. Lightly beat. Lightly beat the egg. So I got a fork out. Lightly beat. The good thing about this recipe, it's a lot of cauliflower. And, um, and we'll have lots of leftovers. My husband and I both, both don't eat a lot, so... I could see us eating four or five of those florets each. And then, so we'll have like three or four meals from this. So that's going to be good. So I think then we do it this way. We go coat with flour mixture, coat with the egg, and then drench in the cornflakes. Okay. So now people were just waiting for this to boil. And then once this boils, then we will assemble them. So this is exciting. I don't know if you can see this, but it's very, very hot. And now you have to put them in, like you dip them. Um, my um, fingers are so delicate that I can't do it. So my husband has graciously offered with his gloves to do it, so. <laughs> okay, so he's doing it. You put in the flour, then you put it in the corn flake, in the egg, and then the corn flakes mixture. And it's not too hot with your gloves on, hon? No. Okay. Look at, he's doing two at a time. Wow. You are a superstar, baby. Okay, flower. My kitchen. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Egg. Cornflakes. Burn, this looks really yummy. I know I'm gonna love it. So guys, this is the daytime. We find our dinners, we don't wanna eat a lot. So we're gonna have a bigger meal for lunch. So with this, we're gonna have um, some steak. And um, Dave's gonna be making that as soon as we put this in the oven. And it goes in the oven for 15 to 20 minutes or 20, what is it? Yep, yeah, 15 to 20 minutes. And- um, You know what? What? Oh, Dave's going outside the box again. He's going to coat the cauliflower in the pot with the flour. See, this is, he's pretty brilliant. I wouldn't have thought of that. But what difference does it make, right? Right, babe? Right. Oh, I wouldn't have done that. Do you think you're gonna get enough coating of it on? Mm-hmm. I don't know. I think he's now going outside the box too much. But like I've always said, I'm a rule follower, so. Get out of here. Okay, this isn't going by the recipe, guys. Vern's probably going, what are you doing? 
That's not what it says. But if it works, I think it's a superior way. Is it getting enough coating on it? Oh yeah. Not as much as the other stuff has. I won't find a difference. We'll see. You can always get more cornflakes before we put this in the oven. Do you think we should? Mm -hmm. And then you're gonna sprinkle on the cornflakes? Yep. Okay, we're going to do more cornflakes and this is how Dave does it. I did it in the bowl and Dave does it in like that. That's enough, babe. Okay, and then he does that with a zippy. And then he gets out of aggression. That's why he hardly ever yells at me. He takes it out on the corn plate. Damn it, Patsy. Why do you do that? See? Oh my God, look how fast, much faster that was. That's the way to go, babe, uh, guys. That's the way to go. Okay, so you're just going to sprinkle it on top. He's going right outside this, uh, the recipe. Um, I know we're putting more cornflakes. It may increase the calories a tiny bit. Plus, this is more than four things of... Um... <laughs> but I will say this is probably some of the reason why recipes get more calories than they actually say <laughs> is people do stuff like this. Dave is now making our, <laughs> our steaks. They've got some cake seasoning on them. That's it. And then he's trying to find a lid that fits which is kind of funny. Ah, there we are. So he's put a little water in there. Because I want to steam them. He's going to steam them. And then um, we've got about 15 minutes before our meal is ready. So <laughs> I agree. everybody, this is our cat, Gracie. She's a princess. She's daddy's kitty. Look at mommy. Look at mommy. Hey, Gracie. Let everybody see you. Gracie, look at me. She loves her daddy. Hey. Hi, Gracie. Say hi to everybody. Gracie. <laughs> it's all done. It's all done. And now we are pulling this out. Oh, look at this. Okay, it looks really good. There's the steak done. So now we'll just plate it. You want me to bring the plates over, babe? No, I'll go get it. Okay, he's gonna go get it. This is a close up of it. Now this is gonna be like four meals for us. So. That's enough right there with the steak. Oh, maybe only two meals. No, three or four. Um, the little one for me, please, thanks. Okay, I'm gonna try this now. See what it tastes like. See if I can eat these vegetables. I appreciate Vern trying to get me to eat more vegetables. Okay, this is what it looks like. Um, <laughs> oh, it's really tasty. Really like it. Mmm. Yep. I can eat these. And like I said, that's going to be a couple of meals for us. So this is really good. So. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this cooking video. Um, some of the clips we did didn't come out very well, so um, we'll see what it ends up and what I can get out of it, but I'll put it up with what we've got and uh, we'll do more. Just finished eating lunch and it was really good. It was actually very good. Um, you've seen how much I had and um, I'm stuffed. I'm absolutely stuffed and that's what a Zempic does for us. Um, the vegetables were delicious. Dave uh, loved them too. and. We thank Vern for providing this, uh, something new for us to try. And uh, yeah. I'm always open to try something new. I know you are, baby. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, uh, yeah, no, it was good. So thank you all, everybody. And we'll talk to you later. And always remember, we're all a work in progress. And we'll, um, I see your head. <laughs> we're all a work in progress. And you only feel if you give up. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>